Okay. <clears throat> Class 9. Uh, here's your question. The next question, that is question number 4. We have done uh, question number 3 in the previous video. So, exercise 9.4, question number 4. Uh, I think we have done this type of question in uh, question number 2. Yes, you can look back question number 2, but still, uh, I will solve this. Question number 4. Let's read question number 4. Tlana went to market to purchase bats and balls. The cost of one bat is 500 rupees and the cost of one ball is 50 rupees. So we know the cost price of the bat and the ball. Then he spent 1750 rupees on 8 items. That means that the total number of bats and balls, if we count them together, he bought 8. Okay, but we don't know how many bats and how many balls. So we have to find out how many bats and balls he purchased. So we have to find the number of bats and the number of balls separately. Okay, so we know how much he spent and he, we know that how many he bought. Okay, so it's very simple. First, we have to <clears throat> solve it this way. Solution. Let the numbers of bets be x okay that means that he bought x number of bets and the numbers of balls be y okay it's very simple so uh, if we look at the equation, we can make an equation. Okay, for the first, uh, he uh, this is the number of bets. Okay, that means that one bet costs how many? Five hundred rupees. So five hundred x plus one bet uh, one balls cost fifty rupees. So fifty y, which is equal to how much he spent total one. 1750 okay if you look at this carefully we are talking about money here only the money here so the total uh, amount plan of span is 1750 okay don't use eight here eight is the number okay this is the money so as we can see here we have uh, 500 50 so this can be minimized okay you can reduce this if we look at all the numbers in an equation, if the numbers are divisible by uh, another number, you have to reduce that. You have to minimize that. You have to make it uh, smaller, the number smaller than this, okay? Because uh, as the number gets smaller, it is easier to calculate, okay? So let's see what, uh, what number can divide all these. First of all, we have 10. Then can divide this okay so after that five will also be we also can divide this okay so i will not direct this i will uh, do it for you here okay see i will put all this together 550 and 1750 1750 in a prime factorization method okay first of all 10 if i divide all this with 10 this will be 10 50 then 10 5 then this will be 175 and as you can see here we still have 5 here 5 10 5 1 5 3 5 5 so that means that 10 5 is 50 so 50 can divide all these three all these three numbers okay so if i divide by 50 then i will have 10 x y and 35 constant term okay which is equal to which implies all divided by 50 we have already done here 50 10 is 500 50 1 is 50 then 50 35 okay this will be our equation one so as you can compare as you compare these two which is simple this is simpler okay that's it i hope you get it so the second part of the equation is how much did he bought okay he bought 
a number of bets which is x and a number of balls which is y and then he bought it how many eight so this will be our equation two so looking at equation one and two we have y and y okay with no coefficient that means that both have positive that means that i have to use what subtraction very good so subtracting equation 2 sorry equation 2 from equation 1 we get okay we have to subtract these two 10x plus y equal to 35 minus x plus y which is equal to 8 so now as we are using subtraction that means that minus into plus is minus minus into plus is minus minus into plus is minus so minus uh, 10x minus uh, 10x minus x is 9x plus y minus y is cancel then 35 minus 8 is 27 so x is equal to 27 by 9 is 3 so we have figured out the value of x which is 3 that means that x is number of bets so he, that means that he bought 3 bets which is 3 to 500 is 1500 so now let's find out the numbers of bets sub stituting x is equal to 3 in sorry x is substituting x is equal to 3 in equation True, because equation 2 is much simpler than equation 1 as you can see here uh, you can use equation 1 as well but it's uh, best if you choose the smaller equation okay in equation 2 we get so x is 3 x plus y is equal to 8 so which implies y is equal to 8 minus 3 that means that y is equal to 5 okay that means that he bought 5 balls that means that 1 balls cost 50 that means he spent 250 rupees okay so if you add that together it is 1750 so you can prove this as well okay so now Therefore, required numbers of sorry, focus required numbers of bets is how many bets did he bought? Three and numbers of balls is five so he bought three bats and five balls okay that is for question number four so it's very simple very easy i hope you understand all the concept okay if you are not clear with it then you can ask me anytime okay as we are uh, studying our classes so some of you attend the class if you have a question, you can ask me during the class. Okay, so that's all for today. Have a nice day.